Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you just how simple it is to detect encrypted threats without decrypting anything using Cisco Encrypted Traffic Analytics. We're going to start in the Security Insight dashboard of StealthWatch Enterprise. Here you'll see a lot of information about your network and its security, but what we're really interested in is this widget down here, the Cognitive Threat Analytics widget. So this widget represents our cloud-based multi-layered machine learning which we use to detect advanced threats, including those hiding in encrypted traffic. So Cognitive Threat Analytics works on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being the least risky and 10 being a confirmed threat. You can see those rankings on the left-hand side of this widget. So these are our top hosts that have been identified with our, our cloud-based multi-layer machine learning. On the right-hand side, you'll see these encrypted icons. This means that these threats were detected using the enhanced telemetry provided by encrypted traffic analytics. So let's walk through our top threat in this category, Dusty Hilton. As you can see, he's the only threat that has a ranking of 10, which means that he's a confirmed threat. So by clicking on his name, we'll pivot into the host report screen. Here we can see all of the activity that Dusty Hilton was up to on our network. So we can see all of the host groups internally and externally that he's communicated with. Again, what we're really interested in is this widget down here, the Cognitive Threat Analytics widget. So on the host report page, this widget displays a timeline with the bottom being the oldest and the top being the most recent. So you can see we first saw Dusty Hilton do something risky on March 22nd. It earned him a ranking of four, which is suspicious, but it's not necessarily malicious yet. It's still on the low end of the scale. On the same day, we saw him connect to the Tor network which again isn't always a bad thing, but it's a pretty suspicious thing to do in most organizations. So this bumped him up to a six. So he stayed at a six for a little over a week. Then on March 29th, we saw him connecting to a known malicious host. So now we're pretty sure that something fishy is going on with Dusty. We know he's up to no good. We don't know exactly what kind of threat he is yet, but we need to be wary. So the very next day on March 30th is when he actually got bumped up to a 10. So the first thing that we'll see is this rapid escalation. Dusty Hilton went from a 4 to a 10 in a short period of time. This means that he's an ongoing threat. He has not been remediated and he's posing a risk to the network. Up here at the top is where we actually identify Dusty Hilton as being infected with ransomware. Based on his behavior on the network, we've identified Dusty Hilton as being infected with WannaCry, which is a specific strain of ransomware. So we provide a plain English readout of what WannaCry is, how it works, how you can protect yourself from it, and more information. Now if you want to dig down into the details a little bit more, you can click on Incident Detail. This will pivot over into our cloud-based detection platform. And so you can see all the information that led to that determination that Dusty was infected with WannaCry. So the first thing you'll notice in this screen is in the upper left-hand corner. You'll see that we have identified Dusty as being infected with WannaCry with 100% confidence. So we are sure that this is a threat and we are sure in what type of threat it is. Down here in the middle, we'll see the different events that led to this determination. Right now it's filtered by events with a severity of 9, but we're going to change that so it also includes events with a severity of 6. So now you can see when Dusty Hilton connected to the Tor network and when he communicated with a known malicious host. You can see specifically what IP addresses and what domains he connected to. And if you scroll down here to the bottom, you can see all of the data that backs up those events. So this is all of the telemetry we have collected from the network. And if you look over here on the left hand side, you'll see all of these ends. So these ends stand for NetFlow. So this is standard NetFlow that we've collected from the network. It's just standard traffic metadata. In addition to the ends, you'll see all of these letter E's. The E's represent encrypted traffic analytics. So this is the enhanced telemetry we're able to get from Cisco routers and switches on encrypted traffic that allows us to detect threats hiding in encrypted traffic without decrypting anything. So now that we know Dusty Hilton is a threat, we want to do something about it. So before we go and actually investigate the machine, let's isolate it and keep it off the network. So if you go back to the host report screen and scroll up to the top, you'll see the host summary. And down here, you'll see this quarantine button. If you click this button, StealthWatch Enterprise will send a change of authorization request to Cisco Identity Services Engine, or ICE. And ICE will lock down this host so it can no longer communicate with hosts either inside the network or on the internet. This will give you time to go investigate the machine and remediate the threat. When everything's good, you can just click this unquarantine button and he's back online. 
I hope this video has been informative and shows you just how easy it is to detect encrypted threats using Cisco Encrypted Traffic Analytics. To learn more about Encrypted Traffic Analytics, visit cisco.com go eta.